Hi everybody, I'm doing an unboxing of the Tramontina, I guess I'm pronouncing that right, nine piece non-stick cookware set that we got from Walmart. Um, cookware, we haven't bought any in a long time, it's just gone sky high. I mean, they've, they had, you know, quite a few really uh, different kinds and, and they were all pretty high. I mean, over, well over $100 most of them. Up to up to around two hundred, even. Um, you know, we can't afford that. So, uh, so we found this one. It was twenty six sixty seven. It's a nine piece set at Walmart, and um, you know, it's, it sounds that it's gonna work for us. You know, fine. Um, sometimes they don't last as long as maybe the super expensive ones, but you know, that's really all we could do right now. Um, but I thought I would show everybody what it looks like. You've seen in the thumbnail by now. But over here on the side, I guess it explains what's in it so from glare. Okay, it is that is in a different language on that side. Okay, it's uh it says it's champagne colored. I hadn't noticed looked at it yet inside. But anyway, it has a, <coughs> excuse me, it has a seven inch uh, saute pan, a nine inch covered saute pan. You can see these. Um, it's got a one quart covered saucepan, a two quart covered saucepan, and a four quart covered Dutch oven. It says non stick interior, easy to clean, riveted ham handles. Uh, heat and shatter resistant tempered glass lids and their dishwater dishwasher safe um, down here it says it was made in Brazil down here it says I guess different uses you can use it with gas electric ceramic glass and dishwater washer safe I don't know why I say dishwater dishwasher safe so here. This is not suitable for oven use. So it's important season your cookware before its first use. Do not use non-stick aerosol cooking spray. Use on the road. You want to look at this guy? You have to move over, honey. Move over. Okay. It says, do not use non-stick aerosol cooking spray. Does that mean the first time? Or use only low to medium heat. Use only silicone, nylon, bamboo, or wood utensils. Ah. I don't know why it would say not to use non-stick uh, spray it doesn't say there's any problem if you do it just says not to use it I don't, I don't know if that means like I said the first use or what you're gonna have to move you can't be right in the middle okay you can't be right in the middle okay let's see get some more room here some of it out here's this one I guess this is the two quart maybe um, they do seem sturdy the way they're attached they're riveted like it says it's got like a place here that you can put your thumb it feels feels just right with your thumb there so there's that one and then this is the top for this one. What's the bottom look like? Look at that bottom. Ooh. Mesmerizing. Here's the little one. Tramontina made in Brazil on the bottom. 
I like that. So there's that one. Let's get that one. I don't know if that one came with the top or not. Did it say that one did? One quart. Everything but the seven inch saute pan is supposed to have a I guess this is the seven inch saute pan here. You know, this would be okay for, you know, some scrambled eggs or something smaller. Uh, like if I was just wanting to saute some uh, peppers and onions or something, I think that would be the perfect size. I do like the rivets, it feels, you know, I've had some that had like little uh, screws or something and they kind of come loose after so many, couple years or something. So there's that one. This is obviously the lid for the little one. Kitty's just laying out on the floor. Out. Okay. Here's the little lid. Look at this box out here. Kitty's running out. Get in the problem. There's a box. You gonna get in? She went right in it. <laughs> you can't turn around in there like that. Okay. Here's the. Uh, this is the lid for the what was it? One quart. Nice lids. So that goes. And this one. Nice fit, everything. And then, here's the, the bigger frying pan. We really, uh, sometime soon, we won't be able to, till next month, we've already got to the end of our budget for stuff like this. Um, but, if we can find a good deal on one, we might get it, but we need a, like, uh, what does this it say? Nine inch, I think. Uh, we need a bigger one, you know, something big, like more like not a wok, but big enough to do stir fry and stuff like that in, and uh, bigger, you know, things. But that's pretty nice, and I like that it has a lid, which fits on there really good. I like the way it's, the bottom is. So that's that one. And then, yeah, I was hoping this might be a little bit bigger. The other one we got is the same size. But I'd like to have, I got a stock pot, but that's, you know, pretty much too big. A stock pot is for most things you do, but I'm gonna have to read the directions more and see what they mean by seasoning. I guess put some regular oil or something in it and rub, rub it around on it. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Pretty pretty decent size for like green beans this summer. I got them growing out there. So that's what the Dutch oven looks like. Hey, you can see my cabinet behind there. All this stuff on it. So uh, I like the I like the two handles. So, so I think you know uh, for twenty six what was it twenty six sixty seven you figure that's probably close to thirty dollars tax and all maybe twenty eight something. Um, seems like a pretty good deal, you know. It's not the best, but it's not the worst I've seen before either i mean i've seen cheaper cheaper ones than this so it seems to be put together really well i like the rivet riveted parts that are riveted on here they won't be falling off if they like if they have a, some type of a screw or something um the lids i like having lids for everything except for that one little little pan but um i really think it's a, it's a good value um of course, I haven't cooked anything with it yet, um, but I will be. And I'll, I'll let y'all know, like on a morning coffee break or something, when we use them, how they how they did. But 
I'm sure it's it's fine. You know, it's just how long does the nonstick coating stay on before it, uh, you know, starts getting places in it. And, you know, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to, like, scratch on the bottom of it or, or anything, you know, and get that stuff started. Because when that stuff starts coming off, you don't want to eat that either, <laughs> you know. So, um, that's when it's time for us to get n new ones, you know. Um, so I'm hoping these will last for a while, but they're, I think they're a pretty good value, uh, compared to the others. Um, they had the same brand in a, a 10 or 11 piece, something like that. Um, I forget what it was that had more, but it was, uh, I think it was about $36, but wh whatever that was, it had extra compared to this one. It wasn't, we didn't really need it whatever it was, and I can't remember what it was, but we decided just to get this one, you know, just the basic things we needed. So just thought I'd show y'all. I don't know, y'all might be looking for some. Um, like I said, I will be using some of it soon. I don't know, I can't remember what we're having tonight. Supposed to have stir fry tonight, but I wouldn't be using one of these. I'd be using the bigger one for stir fry. So just uh, as we use them, I'll let you know how they do. You know, and most non-stick, even the cheap ones, they do great uh, for for a long time until, the, like I said, until the sticks, non-stick stuff starts to come off or get scratched or something like that. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing of Tramontina nine-piece non-stick cookware set from Walmart. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you later on. God bless.